A friend of mine had dared me to eat testicles in Pakistan, locally known as either katakat or tukatuk, and I have no idea why I agreed. Yeah, you like? Do you like it? Do you like tukatuk? No. So is this is this a popular dish? Yes, yes. Yeah, lots of people yes, like it. Famous. Next, it was time to prepare my dish, and I wanted some clarification. Which one is the testicle? This one? Kapure Which one? This? Yeah. Huh? Oh, that? Is it? Yes. Looks like a mushroom. I think I was trying to convince myself it was a vegetarian dish. It certainly helped seeing things chopped up finely, and you know what? It smelled lovely. I started to believe it was popular for a reason. It's like a drum roll. It's like a drum roll to the tasting. <laughs> yeah, it's very funny, funny, funny. I might have to sit down at a table and think about eating this with uh, with a drink. Hussein's already sat down. I think he's he's just completely wanted to check out on this one. I don't think he's ever tried it. I might make him try it too. And then the moment we'd all been waiting for. Is it ready? Ready, ready. It's ready. I might need a drink. You do realise, by the way, that you're going to try this with me. I'm going into mum mode now. We have to try a little bit. Uh, I would see what I have ordered uh, a naan, by the way. Do they do like a sort of Coca-Cola or a 7-Up? Definitely going to need some bubbles after this. I don't know why I do this to myself. Here it is. My magic moment had arrived. Oh, God. I don't fancy testicles at all. It's meant to be a famous dish here. You're Lahori. Do you want to try your own famous dish? <laughs> the thing was, before I'd even had my first taste, Hussein was happily dipping his naan bread into my takatak. So we started to argue about whether he was, in fact, actually eating the dish after all. You like the sauce, though, clearly. The masala, yeah. No, it's not masala, it's testicle sauce. That's why you're eating. I argued that all the ingredients will have merged together in the cooking process, and therefore one could say he was, in fact, eating tak tak You are. I'm just eating masala, which is like. No, you're not. Masala. Because there's onion paste and tomato paste and or tomato paste or whatever that is. That's how he's justifying it. I don't think Hussein was very impressed with my theory. I haven't even, I haven't even had it yet. It was time to grow some balls of my own and give it a try. Brain in it as well. You're telling me there's more stuff in there. Almost everything from brain to kidneys to testicles. I'm basically eating awful. It's cool. It's great. I just thought it was pure testicles. It's not. Apparently, it's brain and kidney and all sorts in there. Um, um, I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm? I don't know how I feel about that fact, that, that little nugget that you just told me. I think to be fair, I've done quite well. I think I've done better than you. You and your testicle sauce. Of course, uh, uh... I think I'm, I'm more Lahori than you. I'll tell you something, they cooked it really well. Your chefs are really good. If you guys want to find, if anyone wants to find it, it's down the road from um, the Cuckoo's Den, which is a famous restaurant. Uh, it's a lovely place to sit and they absolutely know what they're doing. No. That's the first time I've eaten a pair of balls anyway. So now I'm gonna go, it's time to go to the Cuckoo's Den in Lahore. Very famous restaurant. I am going to go for a dessert or a chai because I've already sort of eaten. Uh, but I just wanted to experience this place. The Cuckoo's Den is a fascinating place to visit to feel like you're stepping back in time. Situated in Lahore's historic old town, 
It was once in the heart of the red light district. I'm wondering what I'm going to find at the top. Owned by artist Iqbal Hussein, who grew up here, it has countless artefacts that makes it feel like a museum for a bygone era. It's a fantastic spot to come for dinner or, as in our case, a rooftop terrace drink and incredible view of the Badshahi Mosque. Just got myself a mid margarita. It's really refreshing. And what a place to enjoy the view of the Badshahi Mosque and perhaps consider the history of this place, some of the stories. Before leaving Lahore, there was just one more taste I fancied, and that was, of course, some chai. We had to cross this road. Whoa. Both wearing black, no high vis in sight. Right. And we're literally weaving in and out of the motorbikes. Ooh. Well. Fun. We're going to. See if we can find a chai walla down here. I think it's loads. Would you like to have some brown sugar in in chai or just the plain one? Sugar. Brown, brown sugar. Brown yeah, sugar. Yeah, why not? Okay, because they would make it with, with it. it. With yeah, it. that sounds okay. good to me. So let's hope he makes the best chai ever. It's got to be good, yeah. No pressure. <laughs> You're <laughs> saying okay. Oh, yeah. TK. Okay. Best try, yeah? Okay, let's see the skill. Let's see the skill going on. I think he knows what he's doing. <laughs> What's your name? Name? My name is Abdurazek. My name is Abdurazek. Nice to meet you. I'm Carrie. But they're, suddenly, they're, they're suddenly standing to attention now. Oh, they're taking this job seriously. Woo! Big fire, huh? Oh, in it goes, that's the sugar I asked for. Water, water, sugar, water. Ah, water, yeah. water. Water, water. Water, water. Seems to be some discussion about how to make this. Some discussion on, on what level of sugar. What level of sugar? Yeah. I make a ah. We have recipe, recipe discussions Clash, going on. Yeah, all recipe clashes. So he's checking his hair. He's checking his hair. His hair looks good. Stood there waiting for my chai, I couldn't help but notice how groomed these lot looked. They've all got they've all got very slick haircuts here. Look, I'll, I'll do a slow move. So he's wearing a hairband. He's got very slick shiny hair. I wish my hair was that shiny. And this one on the end, look, he's he's just checking out. And this one's maybe a little bit too young. But we'll soon probably start looking like these two. Look how shiny that chap in the blue is. I'm wondering whether I should ask him what hair oil he uses. Look at this technique. This yeah. Here we go. Final chai of Pakistan. This had better be good. Look at this. Is it any good, guys? Not sure it looks quite rich enough for me, but we'll we'll try it. Maybe the sugar will counterbalance the taste. I have no idea what's happening now. There's two two cups of tea have been poured in polystyrene cups. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Little, a little polystyrene cup on China plate. That was That's an interesting part. combo. I was sort of thinking I was going to yeah, get the China cup then. Yeah. Okay, gonna, they're going to bring, they're going to bring the polystyrene cups in. That's interesting. Right, here we go. Hello. 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 Shukriya. Thank you very much. There we go. So, so that was quite interesting. They had, they had China, they had, they had China cups. Uh, like but we've got, we've got a styrene cup on a China saucer. What do you think? Do you know what? It doesn't matter what it's served in, it matters what it tastes like. 
Uh, so, um, let's have a little stir. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Polystyrene chai. Ready? Too hot to tell. You're going to have to wait a couple of minutes. I think I just took a layer of um, taste buds off. It's actually quite a good colour, look. I think I'm, I'm getting quite good at being a bit of a Pakistani chai snob. I really like the white sugar that you guys have here. But the, the big the big bits, I don't use not the ones in the packets, the ones that come in the I pots. Don't, I don't, I don't, that is white sugar, we call it white poison. That's I love white poison. I've just noticed the design fault in the um, in the polystyrene cup. So, so now I have to drink it really fast. Or pick up the saucer and drink it from the saucer. It feels like a kind of like nice traditional cafe. I like I like that. Also, they have separate party chairs. Yeah. Nice. I always like to be in the hub. I like to people watch. Just in case there's an electricity outage, I'm right here. Fingers on the button. That chai was actually very nice. Very soothing. Very sweet. Chippy. Big picture. Yeah, yeah. Picture time. Here we go. Well, his hair was nicer than mine. Here, show me the picture, show me the picture. Look, this is so funny. They put filters on, so I'm wearing makeup. Don't know if you can see it. I've got lipstick and, like, Sip, so blusher. Here we go. Have I got a filter on this one, though? No. His hair was also nicer than mine. No filter on that one. Okay? Okay, shukri. Okay, shukri. Thanks so much. Hello, excuse me. Yes. Let's see if he puts a filter on. Here we go. Really, is that? No filter. Hello. He was taking time to get the perfect angle. I needed to keep smiling. We were still going. And finally, we were done. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. Bye. <laughs> yeah, some of these people that take photos, they have these amazing filters. Thanks. But I end up with this kind of like... Thanks. Hello again. I end up with this kind of like childlike makeup you know makeup that you'd put on when you're like five years old sometimes with like blue eyeshadow and lipstick and stuff it's really quite funny well that was my final evening in lahore and i left wanting more always a good sign